Mark, another pre-season game, another pre-season win. Are you happy with that one? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, very happy with the way it's going. Um, it's not all about winning, it's about performances. And I think uh, today's performance was, was good. Uh, I was pleased with it. Uh, the boys were patient. Um, and we got a result. I mean, the challenge in the first half was breaking Amptill down and you found the way with a long shot from Brown and then the tapping by Snead. Does he deserve that after the work he's put in? Yeah, I think the, the whole team worked really hard. You know, the two boys, it's always tough when you're on your own up top. Um, as I said before, we're, we're going to press, we're going to defend from the front and they, they did it really well. Uh, and as you say, they got their rewards. Brownie's um, shot on sight, which I like. Shift and shoot, and, and Henry was there to pick up the pieces and score. So, uh, yeah, pleased him with that first goal. Well, you managed to break them down in the end, and then the goals were flowing. You saw, scored a lot in pre season. Yeah, hopefully, we haven't uh, used up our allotment. Hopefully, we can carry that forward into the season. Um, it's good, it's a confidence booster because uh, there's nothing worse than playing games and not being able to score goals. Uh, because, as I say, the confidence can ebb away. But um, fortunately, it's, it is given us confidence, breeding confidence. We scored some really good goals again today uh, and as I say hopefully we haven't used them all up for the for the season proper. Yeah I mean uh, it's, it's nice to see as well that the midfield are gelling and we're, and we're starting to get a bit of uh, a bit of strength in, the, in the, uh, the part of the pitch that's really crucial and critical. Um, one thing I noticed is, is currently at the moment we're playing teams that are sort of a few leagues below us and stuff like that. Do you plan on playing some teams that are a couple of leagues above us uh, and, and sort of really test it? Yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's always difficult to get uh, pre-season friendlies in. Um, always like to start off gently, uh, soft approach, nothing too strenuous. Uh, and yeah, as we get closer to the beginning of the season, we'll be looking to play teams at a higher level. But, you know, no, no disrespect to these teams that we're playing against. They, they give their all. It's, um, it gives a good test and, uh, you know, it's a, a tool for us. And as I say, we've got a little schedule where we hopefully we will have some teams um, with higher, higher uh, placings in, in the levels yeah. and um, we can play them and test us before the season starts. I mean, you talked to us before pre-season started about this new pressing style that you wanted to develop inside the squad and we knew that would be t a test of fitness as well. Now you've seen some players get 90 minutes. Are you pleased with the fitness levels? Yeah, they're, they're definitely getting there on the fitness levels. Um, Traditionally, this time of pre-season, players aren't really playing 90 minutes, but I had a few playing 90 minutes today. Um, they're tired, and that I think showed towards the end where we gave away a sloppy goal. Um, but I put that down to the tiredness. Um, so if we can build on that and get more minutes in, into people's legs, um, as I say, we hopefully hit the ground running at the beginning of the season and everyone will be up to speed. Yeah, I mean, really, again, exciting with what we've got going forward as well. Uh, the the latest guy, uh, number 17, um, the name, sorry, has escaped me. A bit of something to do with age and misspent youth. But, yeah, I mean, we, we certainly look like a, a big threat going forward, which is something new. I mean, that's that's something that you're obviously going to be very pleased with. And um, also, nice to see that uh, the centre-halves uh, are starting to gel and get 90 minutes under their belt as well. Um, do you see uh, the, 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 the number 17 as an integral part of the team? Oh, I'm not going to tell you his name now, so you have to look at that, oh, Mario. No, no, keep, it, keep, him, keep him under the radar, but no, he, he, he did well. He actually picked up a hamstring strain right at the beginning. You wouldn't have known it, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll, another exciting player that I'm looking forward to working with. And uh, once um, he's signed on, then we can reveal his name. But at the moment, he's not signed on, so I'm not letting anyone know about it. OK. Absolutely. Well, I mean, goals, goals have been a thing, as you know, that has sort of uh, let us down in the past. And, and now, in pre-season, we're, we're a flourish with goals. So long may it continue. I'll, I'll back that up, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. You go to Stockfold on Tuesday night. Will that be a similar sort of game? I know they're in the same league as Amptill, but do you know much about their playing style? Oh, we, we know Stockfold well. They, they train alongside us uh, on a Thursday night at the arena. Uh, Grego used to play for us, uh, know him well, know a lot of their players. So it's going to be a tough, tough game. Um, he's got them well drilled. He, he, he likes to play a, a good style of football. I'm looking forward to it. It should be an enjoyable game. Uh, and it's another opportunity to get minutes in the, in the boys' legs. Um, we've got a couple that are unavailable, um, but uh, we should uh, should 
still get plenty of minutes in uh, the players' legs like I would like. One final thing, um, it was a morning kickoff today, which is obviously unusual for Hitchin. What was the thinking behind that? A couple of reasons, really. Um, not recently, but before that, there was a massive heat wave, and, uh, very, very hot, and I just felt it drains, it drains you. And if you're going to get minutes in, in these lads' legs, it helps if it's uh, a cooler atmosphere. Um, and to be fair, the temperature was just right today, and that's why I think I only get the 90 minutes in. So that was the main reason. But but the other one is, you know, they're they're part-time players. You know, they've got other things in their lives, and um, if you have to play in the afternoon, it's sort of the whole Saturday's gone. Whereas if you play in the morning, the boys can now go and um, like the two marshes. They're going off to play cricket now. Um, other boys have got some jobs to do. I know Digger's got to do some gardening. So, uh, but it, it gives people the opportunity to do other things in a day, and it, it just it just creates a, a, a happy atmosphere. So that, that's the logic behind it. Thanks a lot for your time. Congratulations on the win today. Thanks a lot. Good to see you, boys. I'm glad that uh, we put on a bit of a show, and hopefully uh, you do a good job with the highlights, Ed. Yeah. yeah as usual. As usual. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> see you on Tuesday. Yeah. You too. Thanks. Cheers, Ed. Turn up. Cheers, boys.